Our scripture reading is from the first chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah, beginning with verse 4. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord came. God called you into a conversation much like this on the day you were joined to Jesus Christ through water and the Spirit. The call of Jeremiah is a clear picture of what happened at your baptism. God the Holy Spirit said to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. Many of you were here the day after Christmas for the baptism of little Teddy and little Sawyer Ann. I, I didn't know if I would make it through the service without breaking into tears. In the sacrament, we celebrated the start of a new life before God. God has a purpose for each of them. They are called to know and love and serve God. Who can imagine the good these little ones will do in the world, in the power of the spirit they received? A task is assigned. To Jeremiah, God says, I appointed you a prophet to the nations. A prophet stands before God on behalf of the people. A prophet stands before the people on behalf of God. Can you see yourself in young Jeremiah? Moses said, I wish that all God's people would prophesy. John Stott said that the work of the minister of the word and sacraments is to bring God's word and God's people together. Jeremiah did it. Jesus did it in a full and complete way in his dying and rising. All the children of God are extensions of Jesus. All the baptized participate in the prophetic work. An objection is raised. Our Lord God, truly, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. Sometimes the called of Christ hear the word of God and answer, Wait a minute, Lord, not so fast. Does it upset you to think about questioning God? Jacob wrestled with the angel. When God comes to you, out of the blue and with some new direction, you don't fully understand, why shouldn't you talk with God to clarify what is going on? Objections are a sign that the calling is really from God and not from you. You really don't want a calling that you yourself thought up. You want the call to be from God. It's okay to talk with God about what God is asking you to do. Mary did. Moses did. Jeremiah and most all the prophets did. If you come to God with questions, you will get to hear God answer. Isn't that really what you want more than anything? A clarification is given. God answers Jeremiah, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. It's about that simple for every Christian. 
We assume that since God is greater than us, the work God assigns must be too great for us. No, what God sends us to do is doable. We go to specific people and say the words the Spirit gives us to say. No more. A promise is made. Do not be afraid of them, God tells you. It is assumed that you live in a somewhat dangerous and uncertain world. The Holy Spirit may very well give you words to say to some people you are not at all sure about. Measure the dangers. Live wisely, never denying the realities. From the place of your fear, you will get to hear the promise of God. The greater the danger, the sweeter the promise to your ears. Jeremiah lived through the worst time in Israel's history. Jesus in his own hometown encountered a hostile crowd walking right through the middle of them. He went his way. Bad circumstances will not drag you down. Bad people will not get you off course. You will be too caught up in the good God is doing through you. You will be lifted up and carried along by the heart of love the Spirit has given you in your baptism. You will go to all to whom God sends you. You will speak the words the Holy Spirit supplies. And always, always in the background, you will hear resounding the good word you heard first at your baptism. I am with you, says the Lord. Now to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor and glory now and forever. Amen.